what's going on everybody welcome back to our second video in our landscaping series as you can see we bought a brand new f-150 we also got a brand new case track loader and a mulching head today we're going to be actually making our shop our landscaping shop we have an area that we bought some land we got to do some work to it before we actually are able to make our property so we're going to head down there and we're going to be using this case skid steer and we're going to turn down this road here it was all the way up north Take a little off-road route. Yeah, this is perfect. So we got the utility tractor with that truck and trailer, and then we got this truck and trailer and a case skid loader. I'm excited to see what we can do with it in this series. We also got this tilt deck trailer, which will be nice to haul all stuff on. Even the utility tractor will be nice to haul on this, but we're going to pull up here. Down the bend. And as you can see, there's the wood manufacturer over there and our little plot of land is going to be right to the right here so as you can see we had a load of gravel delivered already we're going to go ahead and that we have to clear those trees that are back there so we're going to back this up and first we're going to take the bucket off and then grab that mulcher start mulching some of those trees down let's go ahead and place the bucket right here yeah this case skid loader is really nice everything in the interior works really good too so it's 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 perfect. We're gonna actually have to put that down. We can go back up. For the end again, put that back down. All right, now we can turn the truck off. Up like that. Hook up the hoses. All right. See how this bad boy works. Get a little mulching head for the skid loader. So we're gonna take down some of these trees here. Hopefully this works flawlessly. Like it's spinning. So let's go. Let's start up a ways. Nice. It looks like it's gonna work really nice here. I'm gonna keep cutting. I'm gonna push down this tree here. Try to get it cut right down the center. Cutting all the branches, so that's good. Knocking that stuff down. There we go, now we got it cut. Now we can just start going down, working our way down with it. Head up. Alright, let's mulch this this little bunch here first. This branch all mulched up. There we go. This mulched up. Yeah, this is working really nice. Mulcher that we got here. All right, I'm gonna mulch some of these trees up and I will get back with you guys. and that's gonna do it for those trees there now we gotta chop up all these bushes that are kind of in the way so let's start mulching these bushes up as you can see this mulcher does a really good job mulching all this all these bushes we'll mulch up these bushes and then we'll have the people come in and look at the land and start building maybe get some ideas for buildings and uh, hopefully next time I'm back on we will have a building and maybe even some fences in place. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, looks like the builders came in and we got a nice new landscaping shed now. We don't need anything fancy, just a nice shed. Got the two doors on this side. Opens up to a nice big shed. We got obviously a door and we got another side door on this side. This is plenty of room to store all of our landscaping equipment as we have right now. And when we expand, we can obviously go out as we want up here and we can purchase some of this land push these trees back farther so now we're gonna have to start making our driveway we obviously don't want to be driving on this forest ground terrain that was recently mulched up so we're gonna go ahead and drive this over here 
Actually, we can park this in our new shed. The mulching head on it. First thing being parked in our shed is the mulching head. That's pretty cool. Catch the hoses. That right there in the corner there. Get the bucket and start making a pathway in our driveway. Up to the front. Yeah, it's a nice shed. I mean, it's nice red. Kind of set back off the road a little bit so you can't see it, you know. But if you're coming by, it's definitely... I think it'll be a, a perfect spot for that shed. Go ahead and grab our bucket. And although we have a lot to make, it's not bad of a job here. We're going to start our gravel driveway probably back here. Get me one back. But like right here, I think. Dumping it right here. Like this. All right. Keep doing this. Well, I have to bring. I mean, I'm probably gonna use most of this pile. So I'm just gonna see how much. Yeah, I'm not, maybe not. Cause I'm not even really making a dent. But let's just back up here. We don't have a backup camera in this, which is unfortunate. It would be nice to have a backup camera. Let me start mark a little bit. All right, we're dumping now. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a process, but we'll make it work. It would be nice to have a big wheel loader probably, push this gravel or even like a dozer or pushing this gravel this way, but we'll make it work with what we got here. Driving on that. I think that grade is good right there. We gotta add some towards the road a little bit, actually. We're gonna start dumping like here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That way we get all the way out. But yeah, I will. Um, this. I mean, this is probably gonna take me a while to do. It's a lot of work. Kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. This case gets your at is actually really nice though. I mean, it handles so nice. Yeah, I'm going to be making a pathway basically all the way up to the shed. So it'll be a little bit of travel time with the actual skid steer. But we will make it work. So, hope you guys enjoy this time lapse. And I'll see you guys once this is finished. back guys that took a long time to actually get but as you can see we got a nice paved road with gravel now all the way up here we're gonna actually install some fencing right now we'll go ahead and get that installed and we got all of our fencing installed so we got some nice picket fencing here goes all the way around the building here as you can see it goes down here goes up around little gap back here back over here and as you can see we got a perfect driveway so we're gonna go ahead and load this skid steer up yeah this actually worked out really nice we actually did use quite a little bit of the uh gravel pile so good thing i ordered a lot of extra because we can also use that when we expand all that extra gravel there to make another pathway and, and routes and we can also use it for jobs if we need gravel but it saves us a lot of money because we'll need to use it regardless so we'll go ahead and pull this in and check it out i think it'll be really nice I went for this picket style fencing just because it's kind of a country style. Yeah, look at that.
at that. It's a little rough, but it's a gravel road. Can't be perfect. And it'll smooth out the more we drive on it, so it's no big deal. Go ahead and pull in here. Yeah, look at that. That's a perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. In the next series, next video I mean, we're going to be doing another landscaping job. We're going to continue the series. And obviously, keep expanding the shop, keep expanding the business, keep expanding what we have able to buy. So, yeah, with that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you like this content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.